The principles of persuasion are a set of psychological rules to influence others. Originally, there were six – reciprocity, scarcity, authority, consistency, liking, and consensus. Later, a seventh principle was added. The first principle is reciprocity. It means that if you give something to someone, it makes them more open to being influenced by you. This is because we don't like to feel that we owe someone, and so we want to return the favor to clear our social debt. The second is scarcity. When people perceive something as rare or limited, they are more susceptible to persuasion. This is driven by our desire to possess what others value and the fear of missing out that prompts us to make decisions. The third principle is authority. We often trust powerful people and their perceived expertise. We seek their guidance, particularly in situations of uncertainty, when we lack direction and need help from someone else to make a difficult decision on our behalf. Fourth is consistency. We are more likely to do something if it's consistent with past behavior. This is because we align our actions with expectations. To influence someone, ask for small commitments first and larger ones later. The fifth is liking. People are more willing to say yes to those they are fond of. To make people like you, find common interests, be friendly, and give genuine compliments. The sixth is consensus. Humans are inherently social. They want to conform to the group. Social proof can therefore persuade people to commit to something they otherwise doubt. Psychologist Robert Cialdini, who came up with the six rules, later added another one, unity. Accordingly, people are more influenced by those who share their beliefs, values, and experiences. So, do you think you understand the principles? Then meet Jane, a young entrepreneur who, after learning about them, established a successful lemonade business. Follow her story and try to tell us which principles she uses and in what sequence. To start her business, Jane first needs to get funding. To do so, she offers free samples to potential investors. When she later presents her business idea, those who tried her product are now more likely to hear her out. On her first week of business, Jane produces just enough to satisfy some customers, but pretends to run out before everyone gets what they lined up for. By doing so, she creates a sense of exclusivity. Jane then starts to showcase her top customers, encourages positive reviews, invites key opinion leaders to visit her shop, and hosts a local band to play on Sundays. Once her products are popular, customers can't get enough of them. To ensure she's not losing anyone, she distributes paper cups to those in line. Those that take the cup are then more likely to wait for what they came for. Despite all that success, when Jane tries to open a savings account, she gets laughed at. So she partners up with her supplier to appear trustworthy enough to get the job done. To strengthen her business, Jane listens to her customers and shows interest in the community. As a result, people will feel more connected to her company and stay loyal despite the competition. Now tell us in the comments below which of the seven principles Jane applied and in what order. Note that if these ideas aren't enough to get the job done, here is one last piece of Cialdini's advice. When we ask someone to do us a favor, we will be more successful if we provide a reason, even if the reason is utterly unreasonable. What do you think? Will knowing these rules help you resist manipulation? And is it morally acceptable to use them for personal gain? Share your thoughts in the comments below. This video was brought to you by shortform.com. 
Shortform offers premium summaries of non-fiction books. If you want to dig deeper, say, on the principles of persuasion, but have no time, get Shortform Summary, where you can highlight key points, take personal notes, share your favorite quotes, and even challenge your understanding with exercises. The Shortform Library includes many topics from the fields of education, parenting, and psychology. Shortform Superpower Guides cover a new book's key ideas every week in simple language, plus include smart commentary and analysis. Shortform is constantly adding new features, such as Shortform AI, a browser extension that summarizes everything across the internet with a click of a button. Shortform is a really easy way to learn about some of life's most important ideas. To get started, visit shortform.com sprouts or click on the link in the description. You will get a free trial of unlimited access, plus a 20% discounted annual subscription. If you found this helpful, check out our other videos and subscribe. If you want to support our work, join us on patreon.com sprouts. For more information and additional content, visit sproutschools.com.